Kaiko's Human Organ Painting. In his new series of paintings, called Human Organ Paintings, he is taking a fresh look at a very different, seemingly unknown world. It is a perspective on us human beings that we are not used to. Usually we, fortunately, only get to know the surface of us humans, a beautiful face, immaculate skin. But what lies underneath? Exhibition opening speech by Dr. Gisela Gertz in the Anatomy Center, Cologne. The German language, and I think many other languages also, are extremely rich in imagery, especially in the field of organs. It comes up with special ingenuity and expressiveness. There is the louse that runs over your liver. There is something that goes through someone's heart and kidneys. Something has to come to our ears, hit the stomach. You can break a heart. You can even have no heart. You can lose your heart, be attached to something. You can be heartless be a treasure of the heart. The list could be continued. So much for language, but what about the visual arts? Interest in the subject has always existed. Plato taught that the mind was in the heart. Leonardo da Vinci, after 50 years of work, published his Atlas of Anatomical Studies, 600 drawings of the human body. He examined corpses, always looking for the human mind. Rembrandt shows an operation with scientific exactness, the anatomy of Dr. Tulp, 1632, today still considered groundbreaking. But it must be admitted that artists were interested in the elaboration of the human body as a nude representation. Every visitor will agree that in this exhibition he will meet something unique, singular. The artist Kaikaus was given the opportunity by Professor Skarl to study the models in the anatomy center and to record them in preliminary studies and sketches. Kaikaus chose a veristic, precise representation of the organs, perceiving every detail with incorruptible visual acuity, capturing every detail with photographic precision. He dispenses with emotionality and expressiveness. The objects are displayed almost coolly. He presents them to great effect by bringing them within reach of the viewer. In front of a night black background, the objects seem to float. Not least through their monumentalization, he achieves their compelling effect. He gives them an individual aura and makes them special. The organs appear animated, appear almost like personalities. And yet the paintings remain enigmatic, irritating and mysterious. The pictorial world remains accessible and mysterious at the same time. Kaikaus creates a completely new world, ambiguous and not easy to decipher. For all its outward correctness and high recognition value, he reveals a deeper reality, a second level hidden behind the visible. By bringing heterogeneous things together, he suggests hidden meanings. With a spree and wit, he sets details. One discovers by an eye a pair of glasses. The lung has opened a window. He shows the kidneys clothed, the vocal cords gilded and decorated with notes. A clown appears, and again and again, the playing cards, with their symbolism of luck, fate and loss. The cards are always reshuffled. A small side note, we recognize the famous sculpture of The Thinker by Rodin. Kaikaus put it there because he was so interested or amused by the story around it. The model of the thinker was the boxer John Bout, a famous figure in Paris at that time, someone from the red light milieu. Kaikaus draws from the fund of art history. He feels related to the Surrealists. As his favorite painter, he names Kiriko. Magritte, Miro and Dali should be mentioned. These artists often show a banal everyday world, behind which, however, unconscious human feelings lie hidden. Kaikaus invents a completely new world, one that lies beyond the logic, not only of an operating room. His surreal situations open up new spaces of thought, 
lead into dream worlds, into spheres of the spiritual. They direct our gaze inward. What is shown is an inexplicable reality, a realm of the fantastic that is hidden behind visible reality. The works shown here also pose fundamental questions about human existence and symbolize the uniqueness, the magnificence and the wonder of the human body. Beyond the appreciation of the content, the virtuoso painterly skill, the tremendous imagination, the individual extraordinary language of form, the sense for effects and ingenious arrangements should not go unmentioned. Kaikaus masters his work masterfully and virtuously in an execution that is rare today. Kaikaus was born in Kabul. He studied for six years in Minsk at the Academy of Art and Painting and graduated with a Master of Art. For more than 30 years, he lives and works as a freelance artist in Germany. He has already presented his works in numerous exhibitions at home and abroad. And so it remains to say heartfelt thanks.